Let's take a look at the streaming technical quality of some big pieces of Apple TV Plus exclusive content on the Apple TV 4K. So there's a whole bunch of these streaming quality technical check-ins, face-offs, and all of that here on the channel. Take a look at the movies and content playlist for more. In this video, we're looking at Apple TV Plus using the Apple TV 4K background developer mode and the HUD overlay that gives us all the details about levels, quality, bit rates is being served to stream content using Apple TV Plus on the latest model Apple TV 4K to my LG G2 television here. We're going to look at three shows. So according to the tags, C is supposed to give us 4K, Dolby Vision, and Dolby Atmos. All right, so we are looking here at the latest episode of the most recent season, the series finale. Let's see what we get. We've got DVH1. I've seen, I think, DVH1, QVH1, CVH1. I don't know what all those represent. I'm going to have to do some research on that. Maybe I'll make a dedicated video if I'm able to find those answers out. But in any case, we've got full 4K here, Dolby Vision, locked on right away, provided it right away like you would expect. Dolby Atmos Audio, 768 kilobit audio. That's normal for general iTunes content. It's the pinnacle. It's the highest that you could expect to get in terms of a streaming Dolby Atmos bitrate. Apple held it here for their exclusive content in Apple TV+. Plus. But the real kicker here, video bit rates, 31.75 peak video, 25 average video. Sometimes regular iTunes movies will fall a little bit below that. But it's nice to see that Apple's putting the production quality, the bitrate quality, they're throwing some extra bandwidth behind, of course, the content they probably care the most about, right? The content that they're spending a bunch of money to make and produce and try to make a go out of having Apple TV Plus be a service that people want to use, people want to pay for and subscribe to. So in terms of streaming video bit rates, I'm really happy with these. Anytime I see peaks in the 30s and averages at or above the mid 20s, that's that's really good. And in, in many ways, kind of the, the most that you really can expect to get out of streaming right now. And I'm sure Apple's taking extra care in terms of the actual production and coding efforts to these pieces of content. So good job here. Next up, for all mankind, we have the same tags, 4K, Dolby Vision, Dolby Atmos. Are we gonna get the same bit rates? All right, so here we are, the latest episode of the latest season of the show. QDH1 video codec, 4K Dolby Vision 5 like we expect. Dolby Atmos audio, as promised, 770 kilobit again. That max, that pinnacle, what we get out of streaming Dolby Atmos. And video bit rates, very much the same. 30.84 peak, 25.27 average video bit rate. Basically the same as C. So we have kind of a, of a, of a repeat here, a standard, a level that Apple seems to be applying consistently across a sample of two data points anyway, to some of its most important content and its exclusive shows. Last one here, Ted Lasso, same icons, 4K, Dolby Vision, Dolby Atmos. And what do we get? A three-peat QDH1 video codec, Dolby Vision 5, 4K TV show, locked on, delivered, everything the way we expect it to be, Dolby Atmos, 770 kilobit on the audio, 30.84, peak video, 25.25, average video, three shows, Three premiere shows from Apple TV Plus, all measuring, showing, basically the same numbers, consistent numbers. So that's Apple TV Plus, three big shows amongst the highest quality of exclusive content that you can get from any provider. I really like to see Apple putting that production and technical oomph behind what they're making. So are you an Apple TV Plus subscriber? What shows, what movies do you like? Sound off in the comments. Is there any other Apple TV Plus exclusive content that you would like me to measure and talk about in a future video of this type? Ask away in the comments. Otherwise, please do all the regular YouTube stuff. Like, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications. Leave those comments, even if it's just the thanks, thumbs up, great job, whatever it might be. I really appreciate it. And if you'd like to support the channel more directly, there's plenty of options. The super thanks if my content really helps you make decisions and do things better in your home theater journey. There's YouTube memberships, there's Amazon affiliate links, and more. Check it out down below. Otherwise, thanks so much for watching and coming back for more home theater discussion and fun.